Well, welcome back. We're hoping you're having a good day. And some would say they're just cats, furry, aloof, demanding. <laughs> Others would call them graceful, mysterious, and affectionate. Yes, absolutely. From Persians to Sphinx, Russian Blues to your typical house cat, it's the Westminster of Felines this weekend in Monroe. Sabrina Greiser and Debbie Algeyer are here from the Cat Fanciers Association Cat Show. And you brought some gorgeous friends with you this Thank morning. You. Good morning. Thanks for being here good today. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah. This beautiful cat. Uh, Beautiful cat. A lot of meowing this morning, indeed. Yes. Yes. Uh, so before we get started, uh, tell me about this cat, her name, uh, what type of cat. Looks like grumpy cat to me. Well, of <laughs> course. This is our Persian kitty. She is a bicolor, a cream and white bicolor Persian. Persians come in all colors. Okay. And her name is Coco Chanel. Coco oh, Chanel. Fancy. She's fancy, yes. Yeah. Today she's five months old. She's just starting her show career. Wow. wow. She's a baby, she's but she's, she's getting into the business. She's learning the ropes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and this looks like a Siamese cat. Yep. Yes, tell me a little bit about this. Uh, is it girl, boy? This is a girl. Oh, hello. Her name is hey. um, Amika. Hi, Amika. And she's a three-year-old, almost four-year-old. She's a grand premiere, which means she's been spanked. Okay, her oh, look at her eyes. Blue, blue eyes. These beautiful piercing blue eyes, just gorgeous. So uh, what is the process like for, you know, getting these cats ready for show and, you know? Yeah, hers is more fun. <laughs> <laughs> we like to pick on each other about how much grooming it takes for a mm -hmm. Persian. So Persians are shampooed and blow dried at least every week, sometimes twice okay. when they are in show. So this takes me about an hour, hour and a half to shampoo and totally blow dry. Longer than me. Uh, yeah, yeah me. she has more hair <laughs> product than I yeah, do. Yeah, right. me too. <laughs> <laughs> and then Debbie, with Half an hour, man, oh, top. See? <laughs> <laughs> I, I bathe her, I condition her, mm -hmm. um, and then she goes into the bathroom, I turn the furnace on a little higher, and she <laughs> takes about Half an hour to hour dry, she's okay. ready to go. Okay, all right. Very little grooming. Yeah, so wow. that must be nice for you. Just, oh, yeah. Just minimal grooming. But <laughs> minimal grooming. Uh, let's talk about this uh, this show. Yeah, so okay. So this, how many cats can uh, folks expect to see? Well, we have over 100 entered. The show has not closed for our exhibitors until about noon today. No, 9 o'clock tonight. So the exhibitors okay. are still entering. We're excited because we have a lot going on at the show. Uh, spectators are welcome to come. They will be choosing their top four kittens, okay. or kittens, cats, <laughs> mares, any of them. They get to choose. At the end of the show, we get a visitor's choice ribbon mm -hmm. for the, the one who gets oh, chosen wow. the most. We have an HCM clinic also going on, which is uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Hypertrophic. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> this, so as breeders and cat fanciers, we're trying to promote the health of the breeds, uh -huh. and this is a clinic that some of our cats will be going to. So, there is Christian, Dr. Christian Werder from Mid Michigan is coming to do the testing. Oh, okay. Um, there will be ten judges, ten different competitions. They'll pick their ten top kitties in kittens championship, which is eight months and older. Uh, premiership, which is eight months and older, spayed and neutered, mm -hmm. and then household pets. We have a big household pet division. Wow. So your your cat at home, who you've been right. loving on for, you know, mm -hmm. can you can, can enter, enter it. Enter, can enter. <laughs> yes. And they can be a national winner and go yeah. and get what we call the cat prom and it, we wear dresses and <laughs> wow. dresses. The cats don't come, but we, we do. get to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. fun. That a sounds extensive. Prom. You know, so how many people about are you expecting to come out and, and participate in this? It's a big show, isn't we it? We are hoping a lot of people will come and enjoy it. Yeah. We have um, coloring books for the kids to take home that talk about the care of a kitty. We have flyers that will explain what the ribbons mean. So, and we are well, you know, we'll welcome conversation and explaining some of the ribbons and of what we're doing there. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is not winning any monetary award. It is affirmation that we as breeders are breeding to the quality standard that CFA de determines for each and every one of the breeds. Mm -hmm. So it is a labor of love. Yeah. Uh, the cats come first in our business. <laughs> they look like Do it. They she looks get good. Good pampering. You know, yeah. obviously they get the grooming and things like yes. that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that, lots of lots of pampering. <laughs> they're spoiled. Yeah. They are very spoiled. Obviously. So uh, talk to us about what the education component of this. What will people walk away with and learn about just different breeds and just yes. taking care of the the cats in general? We hope that they will talk 
with many of the exhibitors about this specific breed and if they have questions, if they have, if they're interested in that particular breed or if they have a cat that's similar, mm -hmm. uh, we welcome that. We want them to, you know, they'll listen to the judges. The judges love to talk to the spectators mm -hmm. more than they do us. They yeah. see us all the time. <laughs> but they will be glad to explain why they chose their top 10 cats, wow. why they are giving ribbons. <laughs> hey. Yes, we're vocal. Yeah, this we're vocal. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. When and where is the show remind us? Monroe County Community College. Mm -hmm. It is Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. We would love to have you folks come. Yeah, so <laughs> another quick question before we let you go. A lot of people are allergic to cats, yes. right? Mm -hmm. We know about hyperallergenic dogs. Mm -hmm. What about cats? Do we have a breed? The Sphinx is definitely a, a hypoallergenic kitty. That's the hairless one, the right? The hairless one. There will be some Sphinx there okay. this weekend. And then there are also, there are other breeds too that are less allergic. Now, when we shampoo and blow dry the mm -hmm. kitties, we're getting rid of a lot of the dander, the dander. which is mm -hmm. what the problem is. Sure. So I have a lot of people who are not allergic to my Persians because of the care that they get. Yeah. But that doesn't mean all of you will not be allergic. <laughs> correct, but you know, it's all about taking care and these cats are just gorgeous. They so are. Good Thank luck you. to both of you. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Yes. Thanks for joining <laughs> Thanks us for this morning. Thanks for being here today. Just